This was one of the best AC games ever made. That is a strong statement, but I think you will be surprised at just how good this game was. A lot of people, including myself, really underappreciated it when it first came out. Is it truly worth playing Unity now? Does it hold up in 2024? Does it compete or even beat the latest AC games? Or has it aged badly? Let's find out. So first of all, the parkour. This game, hands down, has some of the best parkour. In fact, Facts. I'm going to put my bloody balls on the line and say it. Unity has the best parkour of all the AC games. Not only does the parkour animations look better than any other AC game, more importantly, it feels better. The freedom can be felt right away. The speed feels just right. Jumping through buildings is cool as hell, and the compilations just show how good the parkour can be if you get decent at the game, which I'm obviously not. Don't get me wrong, you still get the odd occasion that we still get in recent games where you don't quite go in the direction you wanted or a strange bug happens, which does make you look like a total tit. But Jesus Christ, overall, the parkour in this game still holds up and I'm going to say it, it's better than Mirage's and by quite a good amount and I really do believe this, I really do prefer it. After playing Unity straight after Mirage, I can notice the difference, it just feels a lot faster better paced and more fluent in unity with a lot more added flair call me a bollock muncher if you want it's just my straight honest thoughts from playing both games recently overall the parkour certainly holds up and it is better than the recent ac games and that is a damn good start but what about the other aspects in this game the graphics and setting this game is set in Paris, which was a nice change, and from the get-go, visually, it looks surprisingly impressive. If I told you this came out in 2014, would you believe me? It's crazy to think it came out 10 years ago, and it still looks this good. Yes, some of the character models aren't the best looking, but they don't look nearly as bad as the gormless freaks in Starfield. And look how populated the map is. How was this possible back then? We don't even see this kind of thing in today's games. The devs of Unity must have been in some sort of time machine because this is bloody impressive. I couldn't actually believe this. I completely forgot how populated the map was. All I can say is back in 2014, Team. I must have been bumming out Black Ops 2 too much really appreciate how good the game looks because back then it would have looked even better and if you are one of those people who care about how alive and rich the open world feels what you need to do is buckle up the zipper on your cax because you're about to get a major rod on this game absolutely thrashes the arse of other open world games when it comes to feeling alive from the majorly populated areas public executions people feeling the beat random events around the map, this world certainly feels living and breathing, which really surprised me. It feels just as good as it looks. How impressive is that? Like seriously, it genuinely beats a lot of more recent open world games. And I really don't think we appreciated it back in the day. I know for sure that I didn't. Combat. Alright, okay, surely now, this is where the game will show its age, as we've barely said anything negative so far. But... You aren't going to believe this. Combat in this game is incredible. It just is. Genuinely, if I compare this to any other AC game, Unity wins. I would argue that point to death. Call me a donkey's bell end if you want. This is my genuine honest thoughts. The variety of animations during combat looks badass. And it feels responsive and incredibly satisfying. You know it's got good combat when you constantly want to be in sword fights with enemies. Unlike Mirage, it doesn't feel slow and clunky. Instead, it looks and plays fluent with lots of various animations. Taking a stealthy approach is also fun, don't get me wrong, there are much more animations compared to Mirage, which also looks super impressive, but 
sword fights are very entertaining and thrash the arse off Mirage. Considering this came out 10 years ago, how amazing is this? The only thing I could say about the combat is perhaps it's too easy, but this does change when you encounter enemies that are shooting you in the distance. It does become a lot harder at that point. Combat is insane, and I was happily surprised by how well it holds up in 2024, and by how much I prefer it over Mirage, mainly because the combat was slow, janky, and there was only a handful of animations in Mirage. It felt a little bit lackluster, I guess you could say. And when you compare it to this, it looks piss poor to be quite honest. From playing hours of Mirage and going over to Unity, I can safely say the combat is better here. The story. Right, okay, no, come on. Surely now, this is where the game shows its age. Well, once again, no. The story isn't a masterpiece by any means. It's no Scorsese piece or anything like that. It's your typical revenge plot, but it certainly offers some diversity due to its time jumps, glitches in the matrix, and somewhat decent job of conveying character relationships on screen, to the point that you actually end up caring about them. To put it simply, you definitely feel something for the main character, which wasn't the same experience with Mirage, at least in my opinion anyway. Old Basim bored me to tears at times. The enemies you encounter in Unity are also very interesting and kind of goofy, but in a good way. For example, this ugly mother who loves torturing people and severing limbs. He does look a bit on the piss, but at least you remember him and actually have the motivation to twat him up. The story does enough for you to be invested, but it doesn't live up to previous games like AC2, but that doesn't make it bad. Overall, I actually found the story way more interesting and entertaining than Mirage. Should you play Assassin's Creed Unity in 2024? I mean, I think the video answers itself. A million percent yes. I guarantee you, you will be surprised by just how good this game is in 2024. This video can only do so much. If you were a fan of the old AC format like me, or just want to experience a really damn good AC game, pick this up proper cheap and comment down below your thoughts, I would love to see them. If you're anything like me, you're gonna be surprised. But, there is one more thing we need to talk about here. What the hell happened when this game first released? At the time, it got rather average reviews. Only recently have people started to realise how good this game was. Is it because AC has been on a downward trend ever since? Or did people just hate on the game for no reason? Or could have been expecting far too much? I remember really enjoying this back in the day. And I think I might have enjoyed it more if I didn't buy into the negative outlooks spreading across YouTube. Which is incredibly easy to do. I just want to know why it wasn't well received at the time of release. I mean, what do you think? Comment down below, I would love to see. And if you would like to find out whether Assassin's Creed Mirage is worth playing in 2024 and what has changed about the game since release and whether the updates have improved it at all, make sure to click the card on screen so you can watch that video. You definitely don't want to miss it. Thank you guys for watching as always and have a great rest of your day.